Okay, so here we are again. Round two with trying to do ceviche. This time I'm gonna use trout the way some of you have suggested. And then the flounder, we are gonna try, we're gonna make an attempt to stuff it. I uh, watched a YouTube video on how to debone the flounder. I can't guarantee that I'm not gonna butcher it. I probably will, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. So first and foremost, let's cut all the vegetables up for the ceviche. We're gonna use probably maybe like a quarter of red onion. All right, so here we go. Nice thin slices. This looks like it's more than likely gonna be enough right here. If I had to guess, it's probably about a half a cup. Next, let's do the tomato. We'll uh, half it, and we just essentially want the outside of the shell for the tomato. Okay, do the same to this one, and then you get the idea. We'll do that to two tomatoes. Last tomato, we'll just finish cubing this down, and then throw it in the bowl with the rest of our veggies. Next, we're gonna do a jalapeno just to give it a little bit of kick. And we'll half it, remove the veins and the seeds. So let's chop this up, throw it in the bowl, and then move on. Just take your regular cucumber and use probably like half of it to give a nice, fresh, crisp taste to the uh, ceviche. We'll cut it in half. We're gonna remove the seeds because we just don't want those to be in it. And we'll do that to the remainder of these and cube it up, place it with the rest of the veggies. We'll take some cilantro. We'll do probably two tablespoons, three tablespoons, somewhere around that much and uh, chop all that up and then we'll add that to the rest of the vegetables. We're gonna take a clove of garlic now and we're gonna grate it into there so that there really isn't any uh, real big bitter chunks of garlic. Let's get the fish, bring it out, fillet it, and then we will cube it up, put it inside the bowl with the rest of the ingredients, and then last but not least, we will juice eight of these limes, approximately eight of them. We'll see, I don't know, we'll just judge it. And then I want the lime to basically infuse with everything that is currently in there. So we're just gonna let this sit inside the fridge for a good five to 10 minutes, and then We'll eat it and see what it tastes like. All right, we've got a full house, so excuse all the noise. The ceviche has already finished. Take a look at that. It's cured, and we are just gonna plate it, try it out, and give you an honest opinion. If it tastes like garbage, well then trust me, I'm gonna let you know. Here we go. Definitely 10 times better than the first one that I made. The cucumber gives it another level of like crispness and the texture of the fish. It isn't as tough as the red that I used last time. The tomato isn't mushy because I left the inside out. Stingy ass. <laughs> really, really good. All right, I'm gonna get a, another opinion from my brother, and we'll see uh, what he thinks about it. We don't taste the fish. I taste more uh, vegetables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah. We need some, tea. We need some hot sauce. Try these. We need some Tabasco. They're good. All right, so that's it. Uh, I know the video was all over the place, especially with the family being here. Kind of loud inside here. I think the ceviche turned out a lot better than the first try. So there's a few other things that I'm gonna try with this. I know I left out the mango just to give it some sweetness. And then also not using the seeds and the veins from the jalapeno, it didn't have that kick. My brother was saying something like, hey, if you had some Tabasco, maybe some Louisiana hot sauce, that probably would have brought it up another notch as far as the spiciness goes. But uh, overall, it was great. I've got the stuffed flounder inside the oven right now, and uh, 
I don't know, I will do that video later on whenever it's not so loud and you can follow along. So if you enjoyed the video, give me that thumbs up. Till next time, tight lines. Ha, ha, ha.